Let's see. Hey guys, I decided that I would go ahead and go live. Hi, I'm Tracy of Tracy's Fancy and I am at the beach for a little mini vacation and I brought my painting supplies with me and I'm painting from the little place that we're staying, but I can't go, I can't get my Instagram to go live. So give me two secs while I figure this out. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, welcome Instagram. Hello, anyone who's out there. I am coming to you from, uh, they call it North Padre, right? North Padre? North Padre, I think. We're not in Puerto Ranzas. We usually stay in Puerto Ranzas, um, but we did not make reservations until the very last second, and so there was nothing available. So while I ramble on with you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna finish out the top of this better, um, and then we'll keep going with this design. But I wanna finish this out, and I need to turn it. So let me, um, I guess I can just lay this down a little bit, and y'all could at least watch that part of it. I need to get some brushes. I was just live over on the Dixie Bell page and um, hi Instagram. I cannot see the words on that. I'm filming myself tonight uh, and I am in a strange place. I'm in a condo that we rented and I have very limited supplies, very limited uh, paint selection, but I'm really happy with what we came up with so far. Really, really, really happy. Let me give you a shot of what we just did over the last 45 minutes on Dixie Bell's uh, page. Let me show you what we did. I'm painting a metal mailbox, um, $17 mailbox. Oh, oh, sand fell off of it because I really did go take pictures of it. There we go. Look how pretty so far. Look, okay, Instagram, you see? Facebook, you see? Doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look so good? I love it so much. And we just did it like uh, while we were live. We did this so quickly. And then we started the stripes on this side, but um, we put that on hold while I, I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna kind of work on the top of this because I don't wanna start laying transfers down until I get the top looking the way I like it. So that means I need to get more white and pink. I think I need more white and pink. So we'll do, I'm using T Rose and Fluff. Yeah, maybe a touch of Plum Crazy, maybe. So let me get this laid out and done, and then we will uh, we will continue on putting down some more transfers. So because I don't have my regular brushes, I am struggling here to do this kind of blotchy, uh, it's kind of blending, blending, um, just using a pouncing method. But normally I would use like my French tip brush or uh, what's the other one called? La Petite. Sorry, I'm distracted because I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Over here, kind of happened to go around this transfer a little bit. It wasn't really my plan, but that's what I'm going to do. Bring in some more white, kind of fold that in. I'll turn this around for you guys to see it in just a minute. Um, hey, will you come read some of these comments while I try to finish out this last part? Sue says hi again. Juan oh. says hi again, just wanted to watch more of this. Donna says enjoying the cinema, 68 degrees and kiddos in bed by me. Wow, that's awesome. The cinema? Did she say cinema? Yeah, just watching you. Oh, that's so nice. This is so pretty and the colors are so gorgeous, Kimberly says. Thank you, Kimberly. I really, I agree. I like it a lot. I'm having to kind of go into this. Juan of York is back. Transfer more than I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm trying not to freak out. I didn't really want to cover my transfer. But, you know, you can, did you know you can paint right over your transfers? And then you can kind of wipe back a little bit, and that's what I'm doing. Just blotting around it and then just taking my finger and running it back off the leaves. Kimmy says you're in a happy place on the beach. Oh, I know. I love it. I love it. And I only, honestly, I only went down to the beach once so far today and it was to take the picture of this mailbox. <laughs> and I had people down there and they were like, so what's special about that mailbox? Because I'm laying down on the, the I laid down on the sand, you guys, to take those pictures. Um, I was oh. like, oh, it was a spell check. Oh, it's Chiminea. 
What? I thought she said cinnamon. Oh. Cinnamon. Is that you struggling with your? Yes. Okay, so now what I did <laughs> to get this to kind of blend out on the top here, y'all, I just spritzed it with a little bit of water. I just want it to blend back to the white at the top. And I'm just circling my brush. Just kind of circling. I don't want to use too much water because I want to uh, I want to put transfers on. Okay, now I'm going to touch it with just a little bit. I'm actually going to get a smaller brush and I'm going to touch it with just a little bit of the Plum Crazy because you know how I had Plum Crazy up on the edge like up here? I want to carry that all the way up. Kind of like a wash or a shadow. I want to carry that up in there. She spelled it out phonetically for me. <laughs> Thank you. Who was that? Donna? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Donna, for taking care of Matt. All right, I'm going to close the... Well, no, I probably won't. Let me get this edge here. And I'll show you what I did. Just let me finish this. Just adding little touches. This may even be covered by the lid that closes over on this side, but okay. So see how I did that on the top? I just added that, see how I added that hot pink along the bottom edge there? Well, is that from where we are at Whit Beach? Marine says hi from Fort Myers. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. So some of that is dry and some of it's wet. So some of it looks shiny and some of it's dry. But I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Who said hi from Fort Myers? Maureen Holland. Hello, Maureen. Okay, yeah, I like. I'm liking this. I like, like, like. I'm just going to go back in with my other, the biggest brush that I have and kind of pounce that out. Up into here. Oh, nice. Hello there. Oops. You just keep going, guys, and then if you cover too much of your color, you just gotta kind of bring it, put it back in. It's just a work in progress. And it doesn't doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because remember, we're putting transfers on it. Do what, baby? I say Monica Whittles in from Melbourne, Australia. I love that you guys are in from all over the place. All right, I think that's it. I think I'm done painting on that side. So you can see that it's subtle. Do you see the dividing line is subtle then where the painting begins? Do you see that? Because, huh? Oh, it's just water. Yeah, it's just water. So when I start painting the other side, I will also gradually make it lighter. So across the top, it will actually be white. I honestly think I may work in some blueberry up here. I may bring in like a cloudy blueberry across the top and work it down into the pink a little bit. Um, I won't do that right now, but I think I will. Once I get the other side completely painted and I have this top, I probably am going to do this gorgeous uh, blueberry. I probably will run that across the top and just kind of model it in to bring it in to the pink a little bit. Bring it down in there. Look at my look at my mailbox, girls. Oh, that's so cute. Do you hear them? It was oh, just straight white. They like my so mailbox. You like it so far? Yes. Yay. That looks so real. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Are we okay. Yep. We are live, girls. That's okay. I'm just letting you know. Just letting you know since you got your little bathing suits on. Not to come over here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna dry this side and we're gonna start adding some more transfers to it. Let's see here, Sally says, heck yeah. I keep supplies at the beach. I would too, girl. If, it, if this were my beach house, I would have an entire closet dedicated to painting supplies because if I'm relaxed, this is what I wanna do when I'm relaxing. Where are y'all headed? Y'all going to the beach? Okay, all right, bye. I'll have fun. Love you both. Um, but it's not mine. So I only brought, what did I bring? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors and some gold. I also brought gold mousse. Seven colors. Thank you. Is that Dana or Diana? I can't see. I think it's Dana. Thank you so much. Um, and thanks you guys for showing up over here. We have a good little group over here. 
I would love it if you would hit the share button if you think there's anyone that would enjoy painting mailboxes. I think it's a lot of fun. This is my very first mailbox in my entire life to paint, and I think you'll probably see one mailbox for every transfer that Dixieville has because I have tons of ideas swimming around in my head. Um, all right, so you want your paint to be completely dry before you start laying a transfer down, otherwise the transfer won't adhere. Um, but we did dry that side pretty well already. So I'm gonna turn that off and let's get started. Um, where, I'm not working in my environment, so it's a little messy. And I don't know where my stuff is. Oh, here it is, all right. So what I'm gonna use is another cluster with leaves. So there's some, I don't need this anymore. Catherine says she's going to the beach for the first time in her life next month. Catherine, where do you live? Is it really far away? Probably I'm, Miami. What? No. I am so glad that you're getting to go to the beach. Oh my gosh. Amber, yay, Amber thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Okay, so this one has leaves already, these on this sheet. These little cacti, these succulents, the succulents do not have leaves. They have them detached. So you can cut them and build them yourself. We'll do that last. I'm gonna go with the ones that are pre-built right now. So we did one on one side, and I think I'm gonna do the one that's more green on this side. So these are my borrowed scissors from the condo. Thank goodness they had scissors because I forgot to pack scissors. So I'm gonna trim it as close to the flower as I can get because I want it to go right up against the edge of the mailbox and I don't want any of that excess stuff in the way. So there we go, that's all trimmed. So how you do this is you just pull the backing off. So easy, pull the backing off. And then you just choose where you want to put it. And I think I'm going to lay this one down. She lives in Tulsa and she's going to Destin. Destin's a nice beach. Destin is a gorgeous beach. Yes, it is. All right. She's so, 62 and it's been on her bucket list forever. And she, you said she's from? Tulsa, Oklahoma. From Oklahoma. I am so happy for you. you you're just going to love it. And to be 62... And I'm sure you've probably waited your whole life to do that. I am, that's awesome. Have a wonderful time. Have, and boy, you picked a really great beach too. I mean, if you're gonna go big, you know, go big or go home, right? Okay, so what you do is you lay the transfer down and you just start uh, scraping it with the stick. This little stick tool comes with the transfer. By the way, if you're new, um, or let's say I've done these 5,600,317 projects and none of them inspired you in the past, but this one inspires you and you're like, holy cow, now I'm gonna do that. If you're feeling that way, um, I have put my link above the video on Facebook, Instagram, when the video's over, I will add my link or you can just go to my bio, Tracy's Fancy, the circle with my face, go to the bio and follow the link that says Dixie Bell and it will take you to their website where you can buy these paints that you can paint on your mailboxes or anything metal, anything, you paint on anything. You can paint on your husband if you want to. Uh, and you can also get these transfers for whatever your heart desires as far as, uh, I need to get something small to go. Oh, you know what? This is a little trick. Let me give you a little trick. When you're putting transfers on and it, you've got, you know, it's thin and you can't get your fingernail up underneath there without scratching your paint, Get another scrap piece of your transfer like this and stick it under there. Just slide it right under and then lift it and you can get a hold of your edge. Little, little trick there, little transfer trick. So you just scratch them just like so and then you start lifting your paper and the transfer adheres to the paint. Now, I would recommend not doing it as quickly as we've done it. We've put, you know, put transfers on as soon as your paint's dry. You really should let your paint dry overnight and, or at least for a few hours before you start putting your transfer on. Uh, just because you wanna make sure that your transfer adheres. If you're a beginner especially, you know, no reason to, no reason to test it. I'm gonna try to take this transfer over the side just like so. 
and leave it, let my leaf wrap around, and it did, it wrapped perfectly. Just like so. If your transfer does not stick or it starts lifting paint, it's because you didn't let your paint dry long enough. These transfers by Dixie Belle are foolproof. They, uh, they bend, they stretch. I'm gonna stand up here, guys. They bend, they stretch, they don't break. Um, they're pretty amazing. What I like about them is not just that they're easy to use, but I teach a lot. And so I feel like I can teach to people and you're gonna have success. That's what's important to me. I can work with a super crappy transfer if I have to. But if you're a new person, I want you to I want you to feel like your project is a success. And this these transfers are pretty foolproof and they I feel like they make everybody feel like a rock star. So I think that's really important. Okay, so that's that. That is done. And that looks so good. Looky there. One on each side. How beautiful is that? It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Making the mundane marvelous, Debbie. I love that. I love that. I love that description. Beautiful, right? Push that share button. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So I think, let's see. Let's put a few more on. I, mean, I don't know. Do you think we should bring some on across like that? And Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see. I don't think, I, I think I'm gonna use these two clusters on the other side, so I'm gonna save those. But I do believe that I'm gonna use some of these. So, I love these dark berries. Y'all see these dark berries? I thought that would look kinda of cool to let them kinda of hang over a little bit. So let's put a few more of the flowers down um, let's do a little bit smaller than what we've got. So I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to save the bigger ones. Let's do some of these smaller ones. Cause I really, really like the, I really like, I really like my painting job. <laughs> I don't want to cover, you know, like all of it. Whoops. Cut right into a transfer. So let me just cut some of these out. I really, until probably 10 minutes before the live, wasn't sure what I was gonna do. So, I, uh, y'all really are watching the whole design process here as I work my way through it. Okay, I love this one. I love this pink one right here. I love that one. Yay, Carolyn, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you like it. All right, so you obviously, like this is a pink one and this is a pink one. You don't really wanna put those two pinks together like that. You know, you wanna separate it out. So maybe put a pink one by a blue one, you know, as you layer. So let's do, this one's pink and this one's more green. And so let's put this one down here. And I think I'll make it a little bit lower, like so. We'll put it down like that. How's that? Scrape that on. Rub, rub, rub. These remind me of the old-fashioned uh, tattoos that we used to put on as kids. Remember my fingernails? I, I can't get underneath there, so just take another piece of the transfer, lift it up, and start lifting as you rub. Lift as you rub. You want to rub towards where you're lifting. I rub towards and I lift towards the stick. And they go on so easily just like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's put, uh, that could be kind of big. That one actually could be big over here. Let's do, let's do this one. Or actually there's these too. Let's do one of these. I have no idea what these plants are called. Not a clue. Let's do, let's do one of these. Yeah? No, I don't really like that. No, I don't, it's, that one's too overpowering. I'm not digging that one. 
not digging it. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it lower. This has got a lot of excess on it. I should have trimmed that off. So I'll trim it here. So I think I'm going to take it down a little bit lower like so. And then we'll add some leaves to it so it doesn't just look flat like it's just been stuck on stuck on there like a circle. We'll add some leaves around it. The transfers work best on chalk paint, you guys. They work really, really well on the chalk paint. So I would I don't advise trying them on they work really well on raw wood as well. Raw wood and a Dixie Belle chalk painted surface. I wouldn't try them on latex and expect them to work. Um, I'm not even sure about acrylics. So no matter what, you need to have some sort of, uh, I'm gonna advise a layer of chalk paint for sure. Gosh, this is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous, I love it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do, um, Let's do a, this small one over here, and then we can start putting some leaves down. Um, probably should put some leaves down first. Let's do, because this way, if you put the leaves down behind it, then you can put the flower on top. So let's kind of lay this out, and let's show you how this, how this works when you want to do that. So I've got these little leaves, just like this. So I want to put this down and I want leaves to come out. Do I want the leaves to go down there? Do I want them to stick out over here? I think I want them to come out from over here. So if I do that and this is here, I want them to hide. So I'm going to put the leaves about like that. Did y'all see how I did that? Real quick, y'all, I'm super decisive. You, no one has ever called me indecisive. If I make a decision, I just go for it. I deal with consequences later. So, um... I like that. We're going to stick the other one on top of it. What do you think, babe? I need you to tell me that it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is really pretty. You know it's pretty. It you know it's pretty. All right, so I'm going to put this here where it hides those stems. Just like that. And I'm just keeping my finger on this far corner. That way I don't have to lift it back up. It's already lifted. And you just keep going. You can use the whole transfer on one side, or you can use, um, I'm gonna have to put, a, I want a third flower over here, I think, but I just really didn't like, maybe that one. I guess I'll do that one. So let's do some leaves. I just didn't what like. Doing, so if I should have seen that, what a great idea. I've been wanting to make my dog know about you need so people can find us for that. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. I really like that sunburst pattern that I do, and I really thought that would be really super cool. Um, okay, so this one, was I doing that one? I was doing this one, right? A smaller one. Do I want leaves like that? Do I want them to come up here? How do I want these to go? Like so, like so. I think I want them to go on top. No. Can't decide. Oh, I'm gonna have them go out here. That's what I'm gonna do. They're gonna go out like this. Yeah, now once I went and bought one of these, I was like, what the heck? Why have I not done this before? Like I I wanted to do, I wanna do one in every single transfer. What is our mailbox made of, babe? Metal. It is? Is it just solid black? Well, do you care if I paint it? Uh, the box doesn't come off of it, I don't think. Oh, I'd have to paint it like out in the yard? Stand there and get it. Yeah. Well, I can do that. All right, so now we just have to decide do we want it to go down or up, which obviously I'm going to make this one go up because it looked silly going down. So don't touch this part, y'all. If you put your fingers on that part, it'll pull part of your flower off. So you've got to, when you take the backing off, you've got to hold it on this outer edge just like that. So we are gonna do this like so. Will Gator Hype protect those transfers? Yes, Gator Hype will. It sure will, but you need to put a top coat on first. So really, really well because um, 
Gator hide, if once they're coated, you'll coat them in a top coat. I would use top coat satin, Dixie Belle's top coat in satin. I would do that first. I would let that dry overnight. And then I would follow with gator hide over the whole box. Gator hide's UV resistant, waterproof. Um, so once you, and I would do several, two, do two to three coats of gator hide. Kimberly says, can you send that to me? Um, the mailbox? Yeah, I I can make the mailbox available. It's I don't it, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna be on my mailbox. Um, I don't know what we would put on ours on. Yeah, I will. Every single one that I make, I will. So who Kimberly, if you're serious, just let me know. Um, where should I put these? I do want these dark things on there, for sure. See how I do it, guys? I just play around. I just keep moving and moving and moving. No. I'm just going to add a few leaf sprigs here and then figure out where I'm going to put one. I at least want to put one set of berries on here, at least. All right, so here's some more leaves. So if you put it... Oh, yeah. So if I put this in, do you see how this... See that end? It just ends just like that, see that? So right in here, I'd like my leaf to fall down over the stripe. So I'm gonna make sure that I butt that end right, I'm gonna tuck it right up into the bend of this flower, just like that, okay? Just like that. And that leaves it from, you know, this is what's gonna make it, uh, is it asymmetrical, right? Where it's not completely perfect on each side. A little off balance is always nice. And then maybe we'll do a berry over here on this side. I think I'll put do a berry up here on the top. So let's do that. And then the only thing I might add is some of these little tiny pink clusters. So I'm gonna do the berry on the top just like this. Gosh, I love this so much. I really, really like this. All right, I'm just scratching, scratching, scratching. Again, I need to get a little piece so I can get up underneath here. And then I can start lifting. And even if you didn't want to do the blend, you know, even just this transfers on a regular, just paint the whole thing in one color. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So I'm gonna add just a little cluster of pink over here. They have these little pink clusters kind of already made for you. Let me show you one. Little pink clusters, just like that. And I think I'm gonna put these, um, no, they don't really work there. These need to be done underneath something because they've got their little sticks just end. I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe I'll do these bigger ones. Say something tells her that you should offer a mailbox classes. <laughs> who is that, Beth? Who? Say Beth who? Beth Jolly. Yes, Beth. Maybe. Oh, goodness. I think you're right, Beth. All right, so here we go. These little sticks, there's only two that I have to deal with. The other ones, there were a lot. So these two little sticks... I'm gonna stick right up in here. Nope, I'm gonna put them right in there. Just like that. It's gonna give me a little touch of pink right up here at the top, and then I think we're done with this side. I think we'll call this side a day. So all we would need to do after this is burnish this really, really well, and then um, apply our top coats. And the burnishing part is, is a very, very important step. And there we go. How's that? <laughs> I love it so much. Instagram's getting like super white out. There we go. Y'all like? Like it, like it, like it. So cool, right? So this is one side and then I just have to work on this side. I still have this side to do. But I've got all, I have everything I need to do it. I love it so much. I could not thank y'all enough for joining tonight. Um, 
wow, we have really good turnout over here. Um, Beth, where do, are you asking me where I live? So I, or someone else. Um, I live in San Antonio, Texas, and um, I am in, I'm, we're in like a little beach town outside of Corpus Christi, Texas right now. Um, I do offer online classes. I've done online gumball, gumball machine class and a teapot set class. If you want those, you can find those on tracysfancy.com. I have those tutorials pre-recorded there and you, you don't get the live class, but you still get, um, the pre-recorded with it, it. They're like two and three hours long. They're very, very, very worth it. Um, and you will be rocking some tea, teapot sets and some gumball machines. Um, and maybe we will do a mailbox class because I, there's a lot of variety and a lot of options that we can do with this. So, um, Beth, I thought so. I thought so. I was like, well, who were, I don't know. I just looked up and saw you ask. So I answered you. And then I thought, well, maybe somebody else needs to know where I live. <laughs> okay. My family is waiting on me. We're going to go get us some good seafood tonight. Um, hi from New Zealand. Hello there. Thank y'all for joining tonight. Y'all have a wonderful, um, Oh, whoever asked how you protect from the weather, if you'll go back and watch the replay, we talk about that, okay? We talk about it. Uh, thanks, you guys. I love you all. We will see y'all next Wednesday night, okay? Same time, same place, but it'll be for my shop at home, not the beach. Forgive me, because I